The AI landscape for financial services at this point in time is still quite a challenging landscape because financial services are such a highly regulated part of the world. It isn't the easiest thing in the world to deal with something that is not super deterministic in its nature. I think my key takeaways from this discussion was fundamentally that the stumbling that we've had probably over the last 12 to 18 months have been people trying to kind of like figure out where to jump in. And I think the conversation was very much now about the execution, the skills we're going to need, rather than the where do I start and, and what's my first move. AI is not a technology that we can wait for to be perfect. This technology has the power to redefine industries in a way that hasn't been seen before. There have been quite a few disruptive technologies, you know, machine learning, quantum computing, and I think they're going to have their own cycle. This has a cycle which is far more accelerated, far more urgent. Financial service uh, firms across the industry are starting to adopt AI. Some real progress being made in those areas. Fantastic to see the ideas, how people are kind of thinking about the topic and generally, you know, very positive for the, for the UK economy that we've got kind of forward thinking financial firms. Get going now because the pace of change and the pace of innovation and the pace at which you're able to innovate and go from ideation to production is getting shorter and shorter. And as you learn in your business how to do that, you will get quicker at it. If you're not doing it now, you're going to be far behind in six or 12 months time. In spite of the fear that sometimes this industry generates, I think it's going to achieve quite a few amazing things. For example, like democratizing talent in a sense. Right For the first time, I'm seeing things like people with diverse skills like literature, journalism, psychology are sort of becoming mainstream to the tech industry. Right, And I think that's something to be welcomed. So it's a very exciting time. Those agents are now affecting every stage of the financial life cycle, right? Like, you know, giving credit to customers, improving backend systems, right? Improving customer support. The biggest benefit of embedding AI into financial services is the ability to personalize financial services. So imagine a world where you didn't have to take a specific credit card or a specific product. You could have a product that was specifically designed for you, to your lifestyle, to what you wanted to achieve with that financial product. I think the big area is the move to agentic AI or AI agents. So we can kind of think about this as the first generation of AI with these chatbots like a Copilot or ChatGPT, which were more like assistants that would provide information back. This next generation of AI technology is around the creation of these AI agents that don't just provide information back, but they're actually able to execute tasks, to be part of teams, to drive business workflows. I think there's really exciting, a lot of opportunities there. If we look to the future and what's on the horizon for AI, it's exciting. I think the way that we interact with software, the way we interact with our providers, whether it's a banking provider, whether it's a mortgage or a lending, whether you're a corporate or an individual, the way you actually interact with them is going to change to a level I don't think we really understand yet. I think the traditional interfaces will be completely different and that user experience, how they're going to work and, and talk to and, and interact with the software will be very, very different from what we expect now. We're going to start to see these individual use cases that people have been working on for the last maybe 24 months start to become interconnected and start to actually be able to interact with one another as the agentic enterprise starts to build out that ontology of leadership AIs and business unit AIs that then interact with these use cases, these task-based AIs.